So, gravity uh, assisted pulse motor update. Uh, we have uh, 40 pounds installed on the uh, pendulum. It's uh, an interesting example of uh, you know, the, uh, what, the difference between kinetic and potential energy, I guess. Uh, there's also, you have to overcome the moment of inertia, uh, which is the amount of force it requires to uh, get the pendulum uh, moving. So, basically, uh, you can see, uh, yeah, all right. So once we get the RPM up, it's uh, much easier to operate the pendulum. Might have to go with a, uh, a heavier weight. Of course, the higher the RPM, uh, yeah, the easier the pendulum is to swing. Another problem is is the uh, these uh, uh, set screws are slipping. I'll have to make uh, some new hubs or drill out more holes to add additional uh, uh, set screws to the hub uh, because man, there's a lot of pressure on that point. But. Uh, the other problem is, is I'm not sure the uh, the magnet and solenoid configuration will produce enough uh, force to keep the, uh, the pendulum moving. But let's see how it goes. I'm thinking uh, at this point. Uh, probably uh, go with a two-coil configuration, you know, one at each end of the swing. Wow, that's got to look good on camera, huh? But uh, we'll have one there at that location. Put the other one down here at this location. That way there, it'll get a push on each side. And, uh, might have to go with a heavier weight as well. The other problem is, is I have to shore up uh, my frame as the uh, chain pulls on the sprocket. It's lifting the whole frame up, so I'm losing energy there. And you can see, uh, you know, how the uh, how this part is slipping on the main shaft, and it's causing the uh, the chain beam to fall out of uh, alignment. But uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll definitely complete the project with the materials that we have and uh, see if we can get the pendulum to swing back and forth. But, uh, yeah, the higher the RPM at the flywheel, the, uh, you know, the easier it is to keep the uh, pendulum in motion. So maybe 60 pounds on the uh, on the pendulum. Um, really large magnet. And then we'll use uh, the capacitor technique to uh, you know increase the uh, trigger time on the uh, coil electromagnet. And we'll post results when available. But uh, yeah, it slows down pretty quickly without a. Uh, you know, the uh, input pulse to keep the uh, pendulum swinging. Huh. Wow. When I was sitting in physics class uh, decades ago, I wish I had one of these. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what was that? Uh, Newtonian physics? Mechanics? I don't know. Like I said, it's been decades. But, um... So basically, uh, this is not an over-unity project. I want to repeat that. It's a, uh, a pulse motor driving a generator project is what it is. So uh, if we get poor results with uh, the materials we have, uh, we'll go back to uh, the 10-pound uh, uh, weight drop configuration. Those were the best results I had so far. Uh, we know that it was, 
you know, only using three amps at 12 volts, uh, three quarters of a rotation, and uh, we were getting uh, at least a continuous.